So we're doing a video of Chipotle Construct at Chipotle Gym and I uh, have my laughing friends here so don't worry about it. So I just drew a line that is actually longer than 8 centimeters because I said I want the base of the trapezium to be 8 centimeters. So I'm going to draw a line that's longer than 8 centimeters as I just did. Then I'm going to try to go at 8 centimeters on the ruler. You can see. I'm going to put it any, the point anywhere, point of a compass, describe an arc, then go where the arc meets the line and describe another arc. So that gives me where I actually started from, which is what's right here. So I'll consider that to be, um, based on, the, based on the, the sketch that I did for the trapezium, I should have B here and A here at 8 centimeters, and the 90 degrees line that meets the line AB, right? A line that meets the line AB at 90 degrees. And over here, we have a line that meets um, AB at 60 degrees. And the length of AD should be six centimeters. So that's what we're actually constructing right now, so you can understand, okay. So, quickly. So I'll consider this to be my B, and this to be my A, and it should be eight centimeters. Good? So what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to create a 60 degrees angle right here, so how do we do that? Well. At point A, must put a compass point. All right, create, create a nice neat little semicircle or arc. And then I'm gonna go here because I want the line to move this direction at 60 degrees. So I'm gonna start here and do my first strike. So when I draw a line through here, it will, it will actually be at 60 degrees to line AB. So again, what did I do? I come here, let's create an arc. Then I'll go here where the arc meets the line and scrape another arc, cut in the semicircle. And so this will be a new line that I'm gonna draw from A to the intersection of the arc and the semicircle. All right. Now D will be somewhere along this line based on my sketch. Based on my sketch. D should be here at six centimeters away from A. So I can get that in six centimeters using the ruler. So I can actually measure it off six centimeters. Make sure it's six centimeters. And then I go at A and scrape an arc on the line. So this point here will be D. And this is actually six centimeters. That's from A to D. Now I want to create a 90 degrees angle at B. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a semicircle. Whenever I want to, const want to construct an angle, I create a semicircle. And I want 90 degrees. Now what I should remember is that 60, between 60 and 120 degrees, middle of it is actually 90 degrees. Because from here to here is what, 30? And 30 more would be the 120. So if I actually construct of 16 and 120 and bisect it, I'll get 90. And that's the idea here. So I've just created a, a semicircle. I'm gonna create a 60 degrees and a, this will be my 60 degrees going that way. Another stroke will give me 120. All right, so if I draw a line through this, that's 60. If I draw a line through this, that will be 120 from here. 120 turn. If I draw a line through here, it'll be 120 turn. Turn. So a 60, a 120, and if I bisect both of those, what would I get? So I'm gonna open up the protractor a little bit more. You don't have to, but you could. Just ensure that you don't change the width of the compass. Subscribe an arc at the 60. Don't change this now. Go at the 120 and also scribe an arc. And where they intersect, you'll have your perpendicular line to line AB. So let's do that. And that'll be your perpendicular line to the line AB. So it's actually created a 90 degrees here. Now, since this is six centimeters, I want to, I want to complete the trapezium by having a line drawn from D to this perpendicular line to AB. So some people might be thinking, okay, maybe we can just say, okay, this, this is part of this, 
Let me just move it up a little bit. And there you have it. Just drawing a line there. But that'll be cheating. And it's not guaranteed that you'll get it at the exact point. So what we're going to do is to construct the line that will be perpendicular to this line. Okay. And if you notice in the sketch here, we have this line, line CD, that meets this line at 90 degrees as well. So what I'm trying to do here is to create a, a line that passes through, passes through D, but will meet this line at 90 degrees. So how do we do that? Go at D, that I want the line to pass through. I'm going to create a, a nice little semicircle. And notice this semicircle cuts this line at two points, here and here. What I'm going to do from these two points that I've just identified, I'm going to create two arcs. So that intersects. So we're going to have an arc here. I'm going to the other one, create an arc as well. And where they intersect, I'm going to draw a line straight through to the Right? So, so now, so this point here is going to be the point C. Okay? So that's going to be the point C. So this is going to be C. So we have A, B, and this will be C, and this is B. So that's the trapezium. Trapezium A, B, C, D. And notice this angle here is actually um, 90 degrees. So if you take the protractor and measure it, let this be the zero line. Notice this protractor has zero, zero, so this is my zero line. And this is center, on the center where C is. So the zero line, take this at zero line, line them up. And where the center meets the center, we can see that it actually, this line here is at 90 degrees to this zero line, 90 degrees. Okay, so that's what it is. And if we measure BC, let's say they ask the cal to measure and state the length of side C, uh, BC, we can do that with our ruler, and that is 5.1 centimeters. What angle they could ask you for? They probably could ask you for this angle, angle ADC, so you want to know to measure an angle, you can measure angle ADC, so we can let this line be the zero line or this one, it doesn't matter. But this, look line, this angle looks like over 90 degrees, looks like a obtuse angle. So let's, let's make this one the zero line. So I'm going to take the protractor and let this be the zero line. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Just ensure that the zero line will be on the one you choose. And so we let center meet the center and the zero line is on this line. I did. And then we start from zero, from the zero line. I measure the angle so we have 10 20 now if you notice I think it'd be a little difficult using this type of protractor but let's see if we can probably use the other one then let's use the outer one because notice that these are kind of final values between so we're going to use this one as a zero line so this line is my zero line Again, this line is my zero line. I'm going to count the degrees going on to this line. So let's go this quickly. So we have our zero line on this zero line. And zero degrees, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. And it looks to be, let's put it accurately. It looks to be just a little bit off of 100, and, just a little before 120. So 110, 115. And it's right there between 118 and 120. So it's 118.5 there about. So the angle, angle ADC, if you want to call it that, angle ADC is 119 degrees. Okay.